Okay, so a few things we need to realize with this question. First of all, what does product mean? Product just means times. It means if you times them together, that's the answer, right? And we're looking for more than two. Well, we'll come back to that later. So we're first of all, we're going to do a sample space diagram for this. So we've got uh, the numbers from spinner two up here and the numbers from spinner one here. But instead of like writing down the combinations, we're just going to write down the answers to the product. So we're going to do one times zero, zero. In fact, anything times zero, zero. Then we're going to do one times one, one times two, one times three, one times four. 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, and 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, and 3 times 4. So these are all our possible answers um, when we spin these two spinners. And what I'm going to do is try and show all the ones that are more than 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 of them are more than 2. So 9 will be on the top of my fraction when I show the probability. And what we need to do is put that over the total amount, including the 9 we circled. So there are in total, uh, and we can count them, or I notice it's a 4 by 4 grid, so it's going to be 16. I can't cancel that. Now be careful, really common mistake is these two. Because it says more than 2, those don't count. So it has to be 3, 4, 5 onwards. A uh, really other common mistake is this bottom number here. A lot of students would put that as, uh, f was it five, is it? No, seven. They put it as seven because it's all the remaining numbers. No, that bottom number is always the total amount of numbers. 